here we are, Benway National Park, Cameroon, the Hippo Pool, very near the uh, conservation station uh, at which we're based, and we're here to look for large mammals using drone technology. So this used to be a really impressive park. You can see it has um, infrastructure, it has areas for tourists, it has a really nice camp. Unfortunately, um, due to a lot of conflict in the area, particularly in the far north, it's become a no-go zone. So a lot of governments don't allow people to come here. And that has resulted in the local government not really giving it much money, and uh, tourism has dropped, and as a result, um, income for the park has dropped, and that has led to less eco guards being placed here and much uh, higher level of illegal activity. And do we have any idea about how numbers are changing? We don't because there haven't really been very good sen uh, censuses done in the past, I would say, 10 to 15 years. So we're not sure how many animals have been, uh, were here originally, but we do know there have been local extinctions. Um, so uh, one of the rhino species has gone extinct. We haven't seen cheetah here in decades. Um, African wild dog used to be here and is uh, predicted to be locally extinct as well. So certainly there are charismatic species that have gone missing very recently. This place genuinely feels like it's at some sort of tipping point. Um, it's clearly heading towards ecological collapse and we're very worried about a lot of the large mammals here. There's been significant decline over the last few decades. We brought you here in the hopes that you will help us to better survey the giraffe. So before we can understand whether or not any conservation action we do on the ground is making a difference, we have to know how many animals are here and then monitor that over time to see whether or not their population is increasing or at the very least decreasing more slowly. Um, so we're hoping that you will help us by your, uh, bringing your technology here. So we've tried camera traps in the past and unfortunately um, with high levels of uh, illegal activity in the park they were um, stolen or they were destroyed and so just became uh, cost ineffective for us to keep using them. And we've tried ground surveys but it's very very difficult to get through the park on foot. Um, there's not a, a good road network and there's not a lot of water especially in the dry season and that makes it very difficult to um, do surveys over a long period of time to cover the ground. We also did try um, our own drones, but we had a lot of trouble with battery life and we just felt like it was, it was time to try something a bit more radical, which is why we're hoping that thermal imaging will help. So we're here for giraffe, but the subspecies is uh, cordifin giraffe, and there's only about 2,000 of them, uh, we think, left in the wild across five different countries in uh, West and Central Africa, and unfortunately uh, five countries that are not particularly always safe to work in. So this region where we are is probably one of the most stable for the giraffe. We just found giraffe. Excellent. First giraffe of the trip. And how many did we see? We saw four, uh, three adults and a juvenile. Excellent. Uh So I genuinely think there's hope um, for Benway National Park. We've seen juvenile cob, hippopotamus, giraffe, and that means that the animals are reproducing, which means the ecosystem on some level is functioning. So Bristol Zoological Society and University of Bristol have been here in Northern Cameroon and Benaway National Park for just under a week now, where we are trialing different drone technologies to help us better survey giraffe. And the hope is that we'll be able to perfect the method so that when we come back next time, we can get a better understanding of how many giraffe are here in the National Park.